Good morning, me again, welcome back. Some of you guys have asked, why do you always say good morning at the beginning? You always upload when people are about to sleep, and we know it's already 5 in the afternoon for you. Well, I have some good news for you. You might be a normal person with a regular sleep schedule. But babe, wake up. The newest Edvasion video just dropped, and it's about some random topic that he's been fixated over for the past three days. So I've talked about a lot of people that have changed up their appearance for clout and fame, whether it's physically, mentally, or spiritually. Unlocking new races for yourself is a fun activity that people like to do nowadays. You ever feel tired of the skin you were born with? Nowadays, drastically changing your features is like ordering the newest Gucci tracksuit. Once it gets old and the trend dies down, just buy a new one. Today, we're specifically talking about skin tone, which has been a big topic of discussion over the past decade and throughout history. This method of changing up your aesthetic isn't as invasive as getting plastic surgery to change your race, but it might be just as questionable. With the way that your skin color affects the quality of your life depending on where you live, of course people would take the chance to change the way they look so they can have an easier time at life. Some people will change their appearance as much as I bleach my hair. Which is why we're sponsored by Function of Beauty today. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you could probably tell that my hair goes through many phases. I don't know man, I think it's in its rebellious era right now. It's pretty fun though getting to experiment and try out new looks. My hair probably changes as much as the weather. With the combination of the seasons changing and the unfortunate downside of blonde hair being super high maintenance, it was definitely time to upgrade my hair care routine. I need to make sure I still have hair to take care of. Function of Beauty creates tailor-made products for your unique needs, goals, and preferences. And they're also 100% vegan and cruelty-free, which is always a plus. During the summer, I tend to go outside a lot more often. UV rays from the sun and water from swimming pools tends to create a lot of brassiness in my hair, and you can see all the damage that the bleach has done. When I took the Function of Beauty quiz to create my formula, picking goals like reduce brassiness and deep condition created a shampoo and conditioner that fit exactly what I was looking for. And when they say customizable, they really mean it. You even have the option to choose the color and scent. Everything is personalized to your taste down to the bottle. Okay, well say I change my hair color next month, then what? With Function of Beauty, you can change your formula on every order depending on what your hair goals are. If you're wanting custom hair care made with high quality ingredients, you can get 20% off your first 16 ounce custom set when you use my link. Thanks again to Function of Beauty and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Beauty standards have been around forever, and they're usually ingrained into the culture based on how people used to live back in the day. If you take a look at these standards around the world, they can sort of seem outdated and don't really make sense. If you live anywhere in Asia, a continent with extremely strong UV rays and summers where you could cook an egg on the sidewalk, having pale, clear, and bright skin is what people consider attractive, while being too dark or too tan is less desirable. Back in the day when people were born into higher social classes with a lot of money, had the luxury to stay inside and scroll through TikTok, while the peasants worked in the fields and were exposed to the sun every day. They had to be sweaty, get sunburned, and get wrinkles on top of everything else. In modern times, people are slathering on 10 layers of sunscreen every day, using umbrellas when they go outside, and avoiding the sun like how airlines avoid good customer service. On the more extreme side of the spectrum, you'll see people getting procedures done to brighten their skin, taking supplements that are supposed to whiten your skin. There's even a whole industry selling face products for skin bleaching. And that will be a separate video, cause that is a whole entire deep dive. While in North America and Europe, where most people are born pale in hot, humid weather, the beauty standard here is cooking yourself in a large oven at 375 degrees until you're a nice golden brown with broccoli on the side. God damn, I am so hungry. Having glowing tan skin is a sign of youth, status, and people will know that you have the resources to travel around the world. And these beauty standards don't just affect whether people think you're attractive or not, it can also impact your opportunities in life. Just like when a lady named Ruby Baptiste goes searching for a job. She lives in a neighborhood that is predominantly white and in a time when people of color were treated poorly. When she goes to apply for a job in a department store full of rich white people, she's hopeful that they'll hire her based on her qualifications and not by her skin color. Unfortunately for her, this store already hired their quota of black people to seem more inclusive. So her chances of getting a job at this high-end Nordstrom are out the window. But what's this? What happens when she meets a white man at a bar? 
goes home with him, and after a steamy night, she wakes up, not as Ruby anymore, but as Rubelin Ann Smith. I'm just assuming that's her name now. It was either that or Rukin. People just be naming their babies whatever. Ruby, who is now a different race, runs out of the house confused. As any regular person would, I'm taking a wild guess that the majority of people in the world don't just wake up 10 shades different compared to how they looked yesterday. She ends up on a busy street with nothing but a bathrobe on, looking like she forgot to turn off the stove at home. Oh no, I don't think she has house insurance. Everyone sees her acting frantic and kind of scary. But the white cops don't even bat an eye because of her skin color. They do, however, try and arrest the black kid that she bumps into. We can see that she used her special attack. White Privilege Beam It was super effective. When she goes back to the house where this all started, she finally starts turning back into her normal form. And thankfully, her boyfriend is there to help her throughout this ordeal by peeling a potato. I don't want to die. By the way, the potato is her skin. She realizes that her race change was caused by a potion she drank, and the effects only last a certain amount of time. She did notice that her life was better just by changing her skin color, and Ruby decides to drink the potion again to experience the joys of having a normal life without discrimination. And when she applies to Nordstrom again, she gets hired right away. She does have to be careful about the timing and when to go home, otherwise her skin will start falling off in public, and she'll morph back into her original ethnicity like some sort of reverse butterfly cocoon. If you couldn't tell, this is a TV show called Lovecraft Country, and not real life. Th thankfully? Unfortunately, we don't have a monster energy drink that can change your race. Yet. We do have tanning though, a natural way to damage your skin and also give you that just got back from vacation look. But is there such thing as going too far with tanning? I'm not too sure, you tell me after watching this video. This is Hannah Titansor, and if you couldn't tell by her Eurocentric features and before photos, her dark complexion is something that she wasn't born with. Her parents were from the islands. The islands of Ireland. That was a mother. I remember I told you I was so, so dark. All girls on Instagram that I see, girls I know, all wear a fake tan or get spray tans. So why not do some bits instead of wearing makeup on your body, basically? That is fair. No one wants to wake up in the morning with a imprint of last night's makeup on their pillow. But what's the difference between putting makeup on the rest of your body if you're already putting it on your face? Basically, I'll close my wee shutter and I'll go down. And then I get in. It makes your complexion look a lot like nicer, like glowing, you kind of get a glow, like your skin looks a lot better. I will say this, her skin d does look good, as in it looks really smooth and there's like no bumps or texture. But if I learned anything from Spongebob, if you tan too much when you're young, in 10 years you're gonna end up looking old and shriveled. Age spots, leathery skin, looking 50 when you're only 25, that stuff is gonna be really hard to reverse if you change your mind about tanning. How do I look? <laughs> My brother came in one day and he was so dark. Like, how did you get that color? Is he got tanning injections. Did she say injections? I thought we were just using tanning beds nine days a week. Where is the story going? It's called melanotan too. Basically changes the melanin in your skin, so it will make you darker than you're normally meant to be. Okay, first of all, whoever thought of the name Melanitan needs a raise because that is delightful. Why couldn't have they used that perfect product name for something that isn't sketchy? That sheet of listed side effects that comes with it is gonna be big enough to use as a blanket. You know, like injecting something into your body, but it's really not that bad. Okay, and it kind of is like, but it doesn't hurt. I don't really know much about the health risks of the, the tongue injections, but um, I haven't seen any really, like really bad things happen. You know what? Dr. Advasion can tell you the risks. All it took was a two minute Google search and I'm a certified doctor in Melanotown. It can cause nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, flushing of the face, involuntary stretching and yawning, and spontaneous boners. Hopefully there's no cameras in the tanning booth, that would be awkward. Cancer does like run in my family. I'll probably be more prone to be getting 
skin cancer. In my head, I think cancer is like genetic, like so. I don't really worry. Um, who's gonna tell them? That is not quite accurate. And why is she so chill about it? No big deal, it's just those pesky genetics. Just like how brown eyes and terrible posture run in my family. I don't know man, these people are a few concerning moles away from losing a chunk of their skin. I'm curious, if they have a baby, what color is it gonna be? I hope they know that the color they are now isn't gonna be the color that their kids are gonna look like, but I doubt that they know cause he said that cancer is just genetics. I'm sort of happy at the color we are at the minute. I have been told it looks silly when I'm really, really, really dark. I'm sort of keeping it a, a normal color. Did she just say a normal color? People's opinions on what she's doing is pretty divisive. I checked out her Instagram and there are a lot of people who like the fact that she's appreciating darker skin in her own way. It's nice to have people validate and praise traits that you were born with. We also have people saying things like, she's darker than me and I'm black. As a dark girl, watching this made me appreciate my skin color. Some people are saying that she's trying to be another race. Her skin tone is definitely excessive, but from what I've seen, she's never claimed to be a different ethnicity. She just took some random injections and a really long nap in the air fryer. Let me tell you, this instance of tanning too much is nothing compared to what we're about to look at next. Martina desperately wanted to look like Pamela Anderson. So after 10 years and several cosmetic surgeries, Martina transformed her looks into this. <laughs> Martina Big isn't racially ambiguous or have chameleon DNA where she can change colors whenever she wants. This is a Caucasian woman that was originally very white. But after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on plastic surgeries, Martina was ready for her most shocking transformation of all. You ever buy bananas and watch them ripen in the span of three days? This race changing animation just made me think of it for some reason. I got three injections in my belly to change my skin color. What are these injections? If this is illegal, how are people getting them? I am so confused. Where, where's the government? Hello? Health regulation? FDA? Are you guys seeing this? And now I'm the proud owner of a black skin. She's talking like she just bought a new car in a different color. Just traded in her old model. She wasn't feeling it anymore. Black is the new trendier model that everyone else is getting. Welcome Martina Big. You have to be a certain type of person to go on Mori. I couldn't do this. The audience is brutal. Is this worth the clout? You're basically going there to get booed at and have tomatoes thrown at you. Oh god. That necklace isn't doing her any favors either. In middle of January, I got three injections in the belly and after the first week, you can see going darker, darker and darker, but today is a pale day. Martina. If we were sitting in the audience right now, I'm pretty sure that these would be our faces. The cameraman is working overtime. I don't think there's a single person there that isn't shocked, terrified, and confused. Do you think you're a black person? Yep. <laughs> I know. You have to learn a lot. Yeah. Wait, so if you learn more about a race, you can eventually become that race? What in the Sims universe is this? It's better to be black. The feeling inside is just happier. These injections are going to fade, aren't they? Hey, she's not wrong. I don't know about you, but this guy is having a blast. Beginning, I only wanted to have more tan. Yes. But when I got in my these injections, yeah, I like the contrast of long blonde hairs and dark skin. Meanwhile, I can see my recurring hairs are also curly. So uh, this is- In the end, I mostly feel bad for these people. It's not an excuse, but they probably just don't know any better. She's just really misinformed and might have something else going on in her head. We just started off with a Pamela Anderson cosplay. What happened? Everybody who's watching this, who is a person of color, are going to say, it's not just skin deep. Mori is right. If you want to appreciate another culture, it's going to take more than just changing your appearance to look like them. She did say that she's about 80% of the way there. Uh, hopefully next year I don't need any extensions because my real growing hairs and it's, curly and... You know, being black is not about extensions. It's... Well, let's just finish this off with this comment. Her grandkids are going to ask for grandma pictures and she'll be like, I got black, I got white, what you want? Another day, another 
the thing that people are obsessed over. It's very interesting, that's for sure. What are your guys' experience with skin color? I definitely got comments from other people, especially when I came back from vacationing in Greece for a month. I did sort of look like Spongebob. You know what though? The YouTube algorithm never gets to go on vacation, but you can help it stay at an all-inclusive resort so we can get a nice tan. All you gotta do is leave a like and a comment. It's finally gonna get to go on that trip to the exotic island of Ireland. Your engagement will help me show up on Your Recommended with more fun topics to talk about. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and I'll see you in the next one.